heck grab it here? Yeah, so what have we got here today? Anyway, when one is dealing with home legacy computing, one of the biggest issues one has is connectivity to um, for display and audio, because basically all modern displays, TVs and stuff, it's basically isolated to HDMI and DVI and not much else. And when you go for older equipment, then then you run into different problems and um, I actually found this thing hanging around and um, so what was I looking for when I selected this um, I was kind of looking for a legacy TV format or near enough so that's the aspect ratio and um, I really wanted to have lots of video connectivity of different types because um, you know that's that's when you get into older equipment and they have various different types of video connectivity so um so i had a kind of a wish list and then we could check that out and see how it compares with this so scart it has it okay good uh vga yep it's got it uh, dvi yes <laughs> has it uh, RF or radio frequency TV so this means that you can use it on an analog uh, radio frequency um, coax cable it's got it <laughs> very surprising uh, it has composite video and it has S video and, and basically if you look at what my wish list was and then you compare what connections are it's, it's a full match so of course you know, one can have this issue between different um, sub-standardization like NTFS uh, or, and um, uh, PAL and stuff like that, but uh, that's a side issue one has to deal with anyway on, on the fly. I also wanted to have a display that's compact size, so I didn't want a big bulky display. And, um, and then the other thing is that for audio, <coughs> um, this has analog stereo sound connection, which is very useful. So then you can make, you can run analog audio or, or stereo audio you know, in analog format. Um, it's got sturdy, sturdy structure, and this is actually ridiculously heavy, <laughs> absolutely insane. But yeah. Um, great looking uh, there has been comments online I peeked at a few um, reviews and videos on this and um, yeah it depends what you like you know some people don't like this look oh, I think it's kind of cool um, 1280 times 1024 pixels and I mean that that's good enough for if we're talking about legacy home computing um, console equipment that's that's pretty much good enough uh, it's quite fast eight milliseconds um, it has a five to four aspect ratio um, the uh, standard TVs of the day were aspect ratio four to three it, so you get quite close and and then of course it's not um, uh, rectangle shape which is the 169 format so as you see there's no option for full HD or anything but the the objective for my use for this is not not that type of output I have lots of other equipment that does, does everything up to 4k so um, I, I'm not going to use this for that um, was introduced a bit hard to exactly locate what year this is but it, or let's say 2006 something like that um, interestingly enough um, the person who sold it um, still had the manuals in the, in the original format so. not that the, there's only about it's multi-language so this, this is again the, of, of all these pages there's like only a few pages that are actually needed but it's nice to have the manuals it um, comes with a remote control and then the power is from a power brick so not a very big one it's 
plug in the mines there. The original packaging um, used to have different types of video cables, but I got no video cables with this. But I've seen, uh, yeah, I located a page where there was seemingly an. No, wait a second, it was in the manual. I looked in the manual and then it talked about what the original package contained and then it had quite a few different types of video cables, but this, the, sadly, they're all missing. But, um, uh, yeah, so I'd just like to show the connectors. Let's see if I can do it and so see what it looks like on the sides. So here we have, um, the different connectors, and very small text on the back. Um, so here you have analog audio, uh, right and left, and there's composite video and S video, and then RF. So this is the actual radio frequency, and then hidden underneath here, which I I can't really move it to show, but it, the, the um. VJ connectors hidden under here. So I think that if you use it predominantly as a computer monitor, then the idea is you would just plug in the cable there, and, it's, and then um, you have this hidden um, area here. So this is a, actually a rubber cover that you take out, and then surprise, surprise, you have um, DVI, and then you have this. Um, SCART that used to be the common conne uh, RGB connector standard of the day and, and the, the ve very difficult to find um, this level of connectivity <laughs> because I haven't got that much space I can't have like uh, you know a Commodore 64 monitor all, all different types of heritage equipment uh, legacy equipment I can't have have different monitors for each each piece. So I wanted to. I really wanted to find something that that um, could fit the bill for for most usages for different types of equipment. So how how does it work? And and, and, and does it work? So I think the first thing we'll do is just to see if we can power it up. So now put the power on. Um, no, I actually don't know if there's uh, if this is the batteries are any good on this remote, but let's see. see that it's the remote that's the problem. So. Oh, it goes to TV mode. Oh, we, we gotta, we gotta watch this. This static from the RF. Yeah, yeah. We can just sit and watch that all day. <laughs> so, anyway, so, um, what's the plan to replace the static with something? Aha, oh, that's the camera. My my camera is reacting to this, so it's uh, it's changing the um, the um, exposure levels and stuff. So that's why I became such such dull looking. 
Yeah, I've been getting into more. If you watch, if you've been watching the channel, uh, I've been getting into home legacy computing uh, devices of various kinds, and um, I'll be making. Yeah, I continue uh, adding to my um, collection. And the objective is, of course, to plug in those devices into this. So I won't be demonstrating any video capabilities now because I actually want to see if they work with those original equipment. Uh, as of making of this video, I don't have any of them ready right now, but they're coming. So uh, if you're interested to see a real picture on here, and it really being used, and I, and I was tending to do a little bit of mixed testing, you know, both of the video and the RF input and stuff, because some of these, um, some of these equipment, they actually do have the RF output. <laughs> see what the picture quality is so anyway if you'd like if you would be interested in um, following that then um, consider subscribing and uh, yeah buy me a cup of coffee so I can afford this and other interesting equipment and merch is also available if you're interested and uh, I'll see you in the next one